This video will walk you through troubleshooting an F22 error on a SmartPak Pro integrated with a WPC2 or WPC2000 system, as well as a standalone WPC2 or WPC2000 system. An F22 error is generally a change in operating mode error related to either your motor forward and or reverse contactor, or your stroke select switch wiring. Regardless of whether you have a smart pack integrated or a standalone system, the change in motor direction troubleshooting will be done at the WPC2000 processor board. If you have jumped out the motor forward and or reverse and the error still occurs, then it is likely related to the stroke select contacts. If it is a standalone system, the stroke select switch is wired into the WPC, but if your system is integrated with a smart pack, the stroke select switch will be wired to the smart pack. To verify that your motor forward is wired properly, you can check the red LED in group 1 on the WPC2 or 2000 processor board. As long as you cleared lockout and turned the motor on the red LED in group 1 will be on. This should stay on solid and not flicker at all. You can measure the voltage on terminal 7. You should see a solid 24 volts DC. If you are running in reverse, you would make these checks on terminal 17, and the red LED would be on in group 4 for the WPC2000, and group 5 for the WPC2. To verify that your stroke select switch is wired properly, you can check the LEDs in group 7 on the WPC2 display interface board, and the LEDs next to TB701 on the WPC2000 display board. When you toggle the position of the switch, these LEDs should change accordingly. Check all four positions of the switch and verify that the four different LEDs toggle on. If you have a press control that is integrated with a smart pack, you can view the status of your motor forward and reverse, as well as the stroke select inputs from the input status screen in the main initialization menu. From the main initialization screen, select press control, then select Input Status. Lastly, select F3 or E-Stop slash Top Stops to view the motor direction inputs. Then, you can press back and select F2 or Button slash Switches to view the Stroke Select Switch inputs. On means they are being made, and Off means they are not satisfied. The steps you will need to take when troubleshooting the motor forward circuit are to inspect the motor forward terminals for broken and or loose wires. A connector screwed down on the wire insulation can cause an intermittent connection. You can use the meter to measure the voltage on terminal 7 to find out if there is an open connection. Lastly, if you are still not able to find the open connection, perhaps due to an intermittent connection that the meter is too slow to detect, you could jumper out the motor forward or reverse terminals to see what jumpers clear the error. Remember, the indicator LEDs on the board can also be used to indicate whether the motor direction inputs are receiving the signal they need to be satisfied. If you are still not able to find an open or intermittent connection, you can then measure the voltage at the input terminal, which is terminal number 7 for motor forward and terminal number 17 for motor reverse both of which should measure 24 volts DC when they are being used. If these voltages seem fine, then you can take ohm or continuity measurements of the stroke select terminal connections. Lastly, if you are still not able to detect an intermittent connection or other causes of the F22, you can try jumping out the motor forward or reverse input by powering down and placing a jumper wire between terminal numbers 7 or 17 and 9 for the WPC2 and 2000. You would then power up the system and see if the error clears. If so, then there was likely an intermittent connection or a bad contactor. If the error does clear, you should troubleshoot the connections to the stroke select switch and replace any questionable wires, or jump out the stroke select switch. You would then power up again to see if the error returns. 
If you still have the error, it is likely being caused by a bad input on the processor board and that board may need to be repaired or exchanged. Hopefully, you discovered a broken or loose wire or a bad switch contactor and now your press is up and running. If you did discover a possible bad input on your processor board, there may be further troubleshooting steps to determine if the board is the problem. Please contact our techs for further support. For further assistance troubleshooting this or other fault codes, please call 800-586-8324 and select option 2 for technical support, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Time.